If Talula was really Talula, then why would Talula say, isn't that right, Talula? Talula? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Knights. I've said Talula so many times, I don't even know what the word means anymore. You ever say a word so many times that, like, the word doesn't actually make sense to you anymore? Yeah, that's that's the case with me with Talula. Um, okay. There's only eight episodes in the season, meaning we're on the penultimate episode, meaning this is the last, second last episode of the season, and this is sad because, you know... A lot of people were shitting on this anime for being like a mobile game advertisement. People had the expectation that they, they would kind of like half-ass the anime. You know, come play Ark Knights, download it, wail on your fucking 2D JPEGs, and that's how we make money. And there's nothing wrong with advertising. That's how the world runs. But the anime has been pretty damn polished. It's been pretty captivating. I'm enjoying it every episode. It's just unfortunate if it ends so early and if there's no, you know, hints of a next season, which I hope there is. I, I mean, there's gotta be, right? There's plenty of story left to tell, I'm sure. But that it is what it is. I hope it comes back. What happened last episode? The invasion on Lungman is under its way. Um, Chen. <laughs> okay, Chen, I, I was kind of being mean to Chen because she was being mean to us. She was such a hard ass, but that's her entire character. She's just doing her job the best she can. She's got that cold exterior, but behind the scenes, she was looking after all the orphans. She was talking great things about Amiya. And when you get to see the bold, the cold exterior of Chen just kind of dissipate. And then, you know, how Franca's like, <laughs> and Chen like walks away like in kind of embarrassment. Man, that's the appeal of these hard-ass characters. There was the other Oni girl, I forgot her name, Hoshi something. Sorry, there's so many animes I'm watching right now, can't keep up all the character names. It seems like we're getting a little bit more backup, but I still think that Lungman's gonna go down. Why? Because that seems to be the, you know, natural course of this anime. It's just despair everywhere. We don't get really much W's, although W herself did show up and she's a fucking crazy maniac throwing grenades anyway. Anyways, let's watch today's episode. And it looks like the reunion took care of her nicely. Hmm? I mean, they gotta if they wanna... Cause like, you're expecting them to be super evil and stuff, right? But like, she needs to be alive, you know? You can't just treat her like shit. This is so odd. Cause we're, we're seeing the reunion from a more positive perspective right now. This is odd. Skull Shatterer. Oh. Taking off her mask, finally. What does she look like? What? Someone she knows? The fuck? Old friend? Plot twist? Okay, the way that this is going... Yeah, this is actually Alex, but you know, Alex has now become Skull Shatter. It's not like... No, the person Alex is actually dead and I've taken their body and just become someone different. It's like the, uh... It is wrong, but it's a worthy cause. Mm, here we go with the indoctrination of their reunion's ideals. What, what Skull Shatter saying isn't wrong either, though. It's true. We are enlightened. Let me tell you why. Think of the bigger picture, right? The sacrifice is necessary for the bigger, greater ideal. The freedom of the infected. Don't you see, Misha? You're one of us. Join us and together we will rule over. Right, what line is that? Was that the Green Goblin telling Spider-Man? Join me, Spider-Man. And together we can rule over... I forgot the city name. That's true. The way that the people treat the infected is so... So bad. Again... It works, like what Skull Shatter is saying makes total sense, and that's why I'm like, yo, fuck it, I'm joining the reunion. But think about what Amiya was saying. But now you can do something by joining the reunion. Misha is gonna join the reunion at this rate. Oh, shit. And in the future, is Amiya gonna fight Misha? Oh, no. That's all she's buying into it, man. That's right, think about Amiya. Okay, let's see their take on the Rhodes Island. But... Servants of the Powerful. I... I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Or is the Rhodes Island going out of their way to get rid of your reunion? I don't think so. It's... Damn. 
this is good path or bad path. This is critical, man. This is actually such a pivotal moment for Misha. And when you're this young, and if you have someone that you used to know join that side and you get this kind of narrative pitched to you. Uh-oh. Texas just always have Puffy on me. <laughs> just always got Puffy, dude. Misha! Yes, but I feel like now, by the time that we get to Misha or, or when we're about to, like, save her, Misha's gonna be like, No! I am Reunion now. And it's gonna be like, No, Misha, how could it be? Bang, bang. Texas and X just got some great teamwork going. And X is just always so... Casual. Just always so happy-go-lucky. <laughs> oh my god. Misha, what have you done? Yeah. You're a natural! You can do this! Man, Alex was getting so hyped up about this. Who do you think Misha's gonna choose, man? The Rhodes Island that she just met for like a couple minutes or hours at most. It's been like a day or maybe a couple... Not even a couple day. That all happened within a day. Or Alex, someone that she's always like known as a child. Oh my god, it's so sudden. Misha! <laughs> Which side is she gonna pick? Uh oh. There are sworn enemies. I don't think she understands. It's just a difficult call, man. No, but you can definitely make the argument that they did because they're fighting the reunion, but. They're fighting on behalf of the infected, but it just happens that you guys are trying to always get in their way and we end up fighting. <laughs> Not the thing. The bond with Alex is going to override anything with Amiya and Rhodes Island. Hmm? Promise that you won't hurt them? They'll come back. What if there's like a scene? Where Alex is about to like die or get uh, get attacked by you know Rhodes Island, and Misha has to like make the decision. Shit, do I turn on Rhodes Island to save Alex? That kind of thing, yo. I can already see it happening. Oh no! <laughs> and then when she does that, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late. Oh, dub. W. Too many syllables, even though it's a letter. W. If you say it out loud, it's double U. Like, you know, you, you. That's how you double the... What am I saying right now? You're gonna help out, Dub? What, what the fuck? Run? Use Misha in the front lines. One in the hood. Take out Dokta first? Oh shit. W smart as fuck. Yeah, if you take him out. That's kind of true, but I thought they needed... Doctor too. Or at least that's the reason that they like kidnapped him. <laughs> She's scary, man. She's scary, man. She's insane. Look at the look in her eyes. Also, her pupils are really cool. It's like a four-sided star. Doctor. Rescuing Misha. What if she doesn't want to be rescued? That's... Oh no. Oh no. What if she don't want to get rescued? What if she saves Alex instead? Oh, they're showing up? First? Oh. Skull Shatterer. And a legion of... Those little side mobs. Hmm? Is that a flare? Okay. Here we go! Doctor hasn't uh, used his uh, coordinating thing, you know, with the smartphone yet. We used that one time where it was like phase one, phase two, phase three. Oh, I think he's doing it right now. Oh, damn, we're one step ahead. No time to reorganize. I'll try to whittle them down. Go, oh, Franca! I love Franca so much. I hope. I wish she gets more like screen time and dialogue. Oh, did she just say Ada? That's right, we got the tanks for a reason. Something about the guns. It's just so raw. <laughs> yeah, like, 
I get it. Like, we're using, like, magic attacks, and look, I mean, just, like, blew them up. But something about the guns, man, just makes me feel like, oh, that's more relatable, I guess, because, you know, it actually exists in our world, and it's, like, bullets. Jesus. Chen! Nothing personal, kid. Shing! It can't be. Oh! <laughs> Pretty cool line! What? Oh! Jesus! The big boy. Franca versus big boy, but the skin is that tough? What? Arts? On the ground? AoE attack? Oh, this is kind of nuts. Who is this guy? Huh? And like, uh, in the game itself, you know, there's like different, uh, categories of units, right? Like, like, arts users, uh, tanks, I don't know, some kind of like, melee DPS, whatever, and there's like, a uh, some, some units are better suited for others, I think, right? Are they kind of showing us that right now? Dokta, be careful, remember they're after you, not that he'd know. Oh, W? I think we got the shield on in time. It should be fine. It should be fine. No, 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 I, I saw... Oh, there's W. <laughs> I actually really, really like W, dude. Uh, it's probably just because of her design and her just craziness. Dokta's still up, though. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, maybe it's not fine. <laughs> Dokta, can you fight? No, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Hanya. That's the sword. I mean, sorry, that's the shield. Yeah, if we just like close the distance, what could Alex really do? Because then Alex would have to shoot at that close range and both, you know, blow both of them up. But here's the thing. The more that Alex gets in danger, I feel like the more Misha's gonna show up and choose a side. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Alex prioritizing and Al yeah, Alex is prioritizing Dokta. Damn. This type of resolve is insane. Suicide bomb? No, Alex wouldn't. Would he? Would he? Cause he's running with the bomb! Oh no, it's going suicide bomb. This is interesting. Now Misha can't really save Alex right now, but if Misha sees that Alex dies like this. Won't this be a huge trigger for her to, like, choose a side? It's definitely not gonna be Rhodes Island. I should be worrying about Dokta more right now. No, Dokta will be fine. So something will happen to save... Amiya? Is Amiya about to do something crazy? Oh! Could she always do that? That was, like, a... Really, you know, so far she just shoots orbs, but that was, like... She Okay, but did it- I, I can't tell- what did it- This is an important moment. I didn't see anything, like, go through Alex. I only saw, you know, but what if Misha sees this? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. She's joining the reunion. She's joining the reunion. This is fucked. This is fucked. And- the most fucked up thing? Amiya is the one that triggered it. She had to do it to save Dokta, but that's so unfortunate. Her power and what it did to Alex is what makes Misha turn into the reunion? Bro, I should have expected this. It's not your fault. Little bunny, you're really strong though. What was that? Bye. W just having a time of her life. She doesn't give really give a shit. <laughs> Skull Shatter is might might be dead. I think Skull Shatter is dead. <laughs> and then W is like, <laughs> this is amazing. This is so fun. And then Misha's just fucking collapsing. I hate you. My more my like my arc nemesis, right? Oh no. Oh no. And that's another episode of Arc Knight. And the way that Misha said Amiya at the end, that was not uh, a kind or a very familiar sound. And that, that was like 
revenge. That's like vengeance. Misha, I'm pretty sure, is just gonna do the reunion now. And this is fucked. This is fucked. And you know what the most fucked up thing is? We still didn't get to see Alex or Skull Shatterer's face at the end of the day. Like, come on, what the fuck? I wanna know what happened with Amia there, where she just kind of just went berserk and shot not just an orb, but like, just, I don't know how to describe it. Just like a line, like a laser beam, like a solid black thing to Alex. And I guess we didn't really see it pierce him, but I guess it can be pretty much just assumed that it did. I guess they can't really show that. So now, Misha, the person that we're trying to save, is now gonna turn into the reunion. And remember, remember before we said goodbye, remember when we put um, uh, Misha in the car and Ami and Misha were like, there, there was some kind of flag. That was like a, it was like not a death flag, but it was like, hey, one of these days, after all this is done, we can make dolls together, right? Remember for the orphans, how they made a doll? Yeah, for sure. It's like, mm -mm, mm -mm, press X to doubt. We knew it was like, going to be a tragic ending. Didn't expect it to be like that, though. And Amiya is the one to do that. Like, fuck. And the best part, this ain't over yet. No episode eight's going to be probably another tragic one. So, hey, look forward to that. But if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube. I'll go push out my small channel to recommend this one that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. And until next time, guys, take care.